You got airplanes, you got boats, you got ho- Yo ho ho, welcome back to the channel boys and girls. In today's video, I wanted to talk about what it would be like if you put a set of really nice gravel wheels paired to a road bike. So as you can see in front of us here, we have my VeloBuild 168 aero frame set, and we have a set of these really nice, although very expensive, uh, Envy G23 gravel wheels paired with a set of 32C road tires. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to see if this is a combo or a setup of road and wheel tires that someone could live with every day. So basically, there's really two reasons why I wanted to make this video. So the first one being um, is for basically for uh, rough road racing here. So here in the Midwest, uh, we have numerous races where it's not quite a gravel race but it's not a full-on road race as well. Um, it's basically mixed terrain with mostly road, a few rough surfaces, light gravel, etc. Um, now I've done one of these races already earlier in the season, which was the Rough Road 100 race. And on that uh, setup, I was using these same wheels and tires, but I was using my gravel bike. And I realized that that really is not um, the ideal setup here. In fact, most people were using road bikes with gravel wheels. Now I'll go ahead and put some B-roll footage on the screen. VeloBuild says uh, that for this particular frame, the 168, that it is able to accommodate 32C tires, uh, specifically in my case, road tires. So I can confirm that it definitely fits. Um, I definitely wouldn't be able to put 32C tires that had nubs or rubber nubs on the end, like for gravel or cyclocross wheels, those definitely wouldn't fit. Maybe if you had a set of 30 seat, uh, seat tires with the knobs on them, maybe that would fit. But for road tires specifically, these 32 seat tires, they definitely work well. And as far as the wheels themselves here, these Envy uh, G23 gravel wheels, they're very expensive here. Um, shout out to the Pro's Closet for letting me try these out. I want to say the retail on these are like $25 or $2,600 USD. However, these rims are bomb proof. And to be quite honest, um, if you only had one set of wheels that was going to be your do-it-all set of wheels, these would probably be the ones that I would buy for myself. Now, I've already done a full-on review on these uh, NVG 23 wheels, and I absolutely love them. So I'm not gonna go into all the details on these right now because I've done that. However, let me just give you some of the specs on these wheels. Uh, so they're uh, hookless rims, um, they're steel spokes, Chris King hubs, which they are really, really nice, but they are kind of a pain to set up the Chris King hubs. The depth on these is 25 millimeters. Internal width is 23 millimeters, meaning you can run a variety of width of tires on these. The outer uh, width on these is 31.5 millimeters. Uh, the overall weight that I tested for these rims was 1,371 grams grams so pretty light for what they are considering that these are all purpose all terrain set of wheels like i said these things are bomb proof now the tires that i'm running with these nvg 23 wheels are a set of specialized rube pro tires road tires um and a 32 c width uh, set and as far as the tire pressure I'm running, uh, right now, um, this is gonna be for road. This is not just for rough road, but for a road setup, I'm running uh, about 55 PSI in the back and about 52 PSI in the front. So for all things road, I think this is gonna be a good uh, setup to go. I would probably reduce the air pressure a little bit if you're gonna be more on rougher roads and for hard packed gravel. So we're gonna see how this feels out in the real world. Now, obviously when it comes to aerodynamics and road racing in general, um, you probably want a set of wheels that are a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, on this channel, I have reviewed a lot of wheels that are really deep in depth. Of course, we have like the Windspace Hypers, the Magine wheels, the Elite wheels, etc. So these are a lot more shallow, um, being that they're only 25 millimeters uh, deep. So the question becomes, if you are doing a road race, how much is that really going to matter here? Um, we don't really know, and that's what we're gonna find out here. Can these wheels be a do-it-your-all set of wheels? And what sort of ride quality should you expect out in the real world and on these rough roads with this particular setup here, right? Like I said, we have the road bike as well as these gravel wheels with a set of super wide road tires. I do want to point out the fact that GCN uh, very recently did a test where they compared uh, 28C tires versus 32C 
tires to see uh, what the performance would be like versus those two um, versus excuse me those two tires and I believe what they found out is um, there does get to a certain point where you do start to lose performance uh, with the wider tires based on the speed and I believe based on the conditions of the road here now of course with uh, wider tires um, you're able to use a lower PSI which means they should have uh, more rolling resistance because you're not going to be having all of that extra uh, feedback and vibrations kicking up the wheels which is where you would be losing uh, power uh, when you're pedaling here and so that that is one of the benefits uh, of running wider tires of course they should be uh, more resistant to punctures as well um, I am running these uh, tubeless so that's what we just want to find out is can you actually feel the performance loss however can you actually feel that the wheels are significantly more comfortable out in the real world here especially if you're someone that's going to be doing some sort of cross-country ride um, maybe you're doing a bike packing tour or maybe you're just someone who's not looking to feel every single road vibration and wanting to know at all times what your wheels and tires are doing so this is what we're going to find out guys so let's go ahead and take this out on the road and then i will give you some of my thoughts about this particular setup Ah uh, yes, once again, I look super duper dark. Uh, anyway, so here are my findings uh, running my uh, VeloBuild 168 with my uh, NV G23 gravel wheels and these uh, specialized Rube Pro 32C road tires. So uh, immediately there's two things that you will notice right away. Uh, one of them is they feel bomb proof over uh, rough pavement, uh, loose gravel, and just a lot of the bumps that Chicago has to offer. They just feel amazing. It feels like you're in a big body Cadillac Escalade. You really don't feel any bumps. And I definitely appreciate that. Um, and I would say that's really the main draw to setting up uh, your bike this way. It's basically, you feel bulletproof. You just feel like you can go over anything without any problems, any hassles. And it just feels really, really good. However, when you are on super smooth pavement, they feel incredibly sluggish. Uh, they feel heavy. They just feel like that they aren't that great at accelerating despite the fact that they are uh, shallow depth wheel, 25 millimeters. And I gotta say, I, I thought that my experience with these wheels would feel a lot better. Uh, and honestly, they just don't. Um, of course, if you are doing Barry Roubaix, which is what I plan to do next season, as well as uh, any sort of rough road races, for sure, this is definitely the setup. But if you're trying to go fast and also be comfortable, this is definitely, definitely not the way uh, to go, if I'm being honest. It is a beautiful day here in Chicago. It's about 77 degrees on the lakefront. You got airplanes, you got boats, you got holes, as in the garden tools. Just kidding, but yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So I'm just out kind of cruising around doing this test. Um, I was supposed to do my fast group ride today, but I kind of got, got lazy, so I didn't do it. So today I'm basically just puttering around uh, the city just trying to put these wheels through their paces to really see if these are a set of wheels that you can live with uh, every single day. And to be honest, I'm gonna say the answer is no. Um, I think the wheels themselves, you can definitely live with every day, but not with 32 seat tires. They're just gonna be too heavy and too sluggish. Um, I think that 28 seat tires is probably the sweet spot. And if you know that the majority of your rides are gonna be on road, even if there's a little bit of bad pavement, I got snot my nose. I think that 28 C uh, I think that 28 C tires is this medium between comfort, uh, rolling resistance, and just overall having the confidence you need when you're going over rough pavement. It is super windy today. Anyway, so uh, based on the test that I did, going on the same roads that I always am on here out on the lakefront, which is why it's so windy, um, I did basically a. Uh, a four or five minute effort at 300 watts and this is where i could tell right away that you're losing at least two to three miles an hour um, at sort of any given uh, power outage so for example i know in just normal conditions maybe a light tailwind uh, maybe a light cross tailwind i know that with my regular setup with 
aero wheels in this bike, I know that about 200 watts will give me about 20 miles an hour. And on this setup with these gravel wheels and uh, 32C tires, I would say 200 watts gets me about 18 miles an hour. So you figure if you just extrapolate that out, how much power you would need to do um, if you wanted to go say 25 or 28 miles an hour. And maybe in a group ride, if you're drafting and stuff, it won't be as noticeable. But if you're out by yourself, you know right away that everything is gonna feel a little bit more sluggish. So like I said, in terms of rough pavement and having the confidence going over bumps and all that stuff, these feel amazing. If you're puttering around town, if you're going on some sort of cross country tour, bike packing, yeah, definitely the way to go because at that point, comfort is gonna be your priority, not so much speed. Now I'm not saying these are absolutely slow as a turtle, don't get me wrong. Um, they just are not gonna be as quick as a set of aero wheels with uh, more narrow tires. And really, that should be expected because you're using these for, for gravel, they're gravel wheels, um, where you're prioritizing comfort, uh, durability, all those sort of things. Yeah, you're not gonna be using these for uh, a crit ride, excuse me, a crit race, or any sort of fast group rides. Uh, I actually wanna just touch quickly um, back on the speed and power that it takes to get uh, up and going. Um, yeah, these wheels feel sluggish, like I said, but what was pretty noticeable um, is once you get above speeds of 26 miles an hour or so, you really don't necessarily feel the sluggishness of the wheels anymore. You figure there's probably some sort of um, inertia working and momentum happening. I'm not an engineer or a scientist, so if you guys know why this is the case, please leave a comment down below. But yeah, once you get above 26 miles an hour or so, you don't really feel that the wheels are a lot heavier because there's more air in these tires. Um, and yeah, you could just basically cruise on along. I wanna say that's something that you have to consider too uh, with overall system weight is once you're up to speed and you're going, and you're just basically hauling down the road, yeah, you're not gonna really notice uh, the weight of these wheels as much. All righty, taking a quick break here. I think I'm at about at mile 19 or mile 20. Gonna do about 40, 45 miles today. Look at that, man. Sheesh. Yo, I love these hubs, man. These uh, Chris King uh, R45 hubs. They're kind of a pain set up because they have a preloader and all this weird stupid stuff on them. But once you get everything set up with the uh, cassette, and the disc um, rotor, you are good to go. But yeah, my bike with these wheels, because the depth is so shallow, they basically look, um, it makes my bike look like a climbing bike. That is until <laughs> you just realize how thick these tires are, 32C tires, man. So I'll tell you what, man, like when I'm going over like um, rough pavement, if I'm going over curbs, potholes, all that stuff, I tell you what, man, I just, I feel like so bulletproof. I don't even break when I go for bumps like I would with, 25 or 28 c, c, uh, c tires and that's really the benefit of tires like these yeah if you're you know you're just rolling around the city where you're just taking your time you're taking in the, the sights the scenes and you're not too worried about speeds or personal best or koms man it's so so comfortable i cannot stress that enough so this is something that you have to consider um do you need these tires in your arsenal um yeah you definitely need them um but like i said they're just not going to be the wheel of choice when you're trying to go super fast so i think i'm going to leave this test and a video at that guys but as always if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them down below and i will check you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching peace